Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. Hey, what's going on? Welcome inside my endurance cave. Dave Erickson here. I'm on the road to uh, another Ironman race. Ironman Canada 2024 in Penticton. And already this year, I've done a half Ironman. And there's a big difference in training, of course, between the two. My coach, Wendy Mater, has had me on a plan the last, uh, for a 24 week plan on training peaks. And within that plan, there is a half Ironman in the plan as part of a training workout. But there's a big difference between training directly for a half versus directly training for a full. Fortunately, you get a two for one because if you do train for a full, you get a half Ironman in there somehow, some way. So I asked Coach Wendy to uh, answer the question about the training differences and what are the, what's the key difference between training for a half and a full in her programs. And here's what she says. Yeah, great question. So the main thing about going from the half to the full distance is your traditional weekend workouts. Most people ride and run longer on the weekends than they do Monday through Friday. So you know, the last, let's say 12 weeks of your plan are going to have higher volume, you know, whereas a, a 70.3, your longest ride is going to be in that maybe three to four hour range for a 140.6, your longest ride is going to be in that five to seven hour range. And then your longest run for a 70.3 could be 10 to 15 miles. And your longest run for a 140.6 is going to be 15 to up to 20 or maybe more miles, depending on your experience, your ability and time available to train, of course. And so that's the main difference in the plans that we created and just how I coach athletes in general. Um, you know, you're going to have a little bit higher swim volume as you get into that final 12, eight to 12 weeks of your training plan during the week. Most people swim during the week. And then, you know, your, your intensity is going to vary, you know, maybe for a half distance, you're going to be doing maybe like half mile repeats at the track. Whereas for an Ironman distance, you may do mile repeats at the track. So there's a, there's a little bit of fluctuation, but the volume is going to be more or less on the long ride, long run. Yeah, it really is about those weekend training uh, plans for me. Uh, I'm coming up on a hundred mile ride and my biggest ride up until now has only been four and a half, well, well, has been four and a half hours. And I've had a couple of half marathon runs, you know, two hours plus of runs, but that's going to be jumping up as I, I'm within the two month window of my race. So those are the big differences. If you want to think ahead of what do you have time for? How's your lifestyle uh, work and can you fit in a half Ironman plan seamlessly and what do you have to compromise uh, and adjust if you want to add a full distance Ironman training plan within your life because your life comes first then you work in your plan anyhow thanks coach Wendy for that clarification if you have any questions feedback comments uh, you want to address on an upcoming video, let me know. I'll let uh, Wendy know too, and then we can have that in an upcoming video. Until then, have a great week of training, racing, or recovery. See you next time. Adios. If you want to experience the benefits of cold water immersion or contrast water therapy, use my code DAVE150, DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Save $150 off your next purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com.